I feel very, very lucky and very fortunate to uh, to have been introduced to this medium and, and to have been given the uh, the opportunity to uh, to create here with uh, with the rest of the people at Treyarch. It's it's been awesome. I mean, every time I look at and I just go, geez, though the the attention to detail is incredible, incredible. I don't think, no, I know nobody does it better than Treyarch, no doubt. I love playing the villain. I love being a villain. I mean, you know, Kamar's a pretty nice guy. You know, I, yeah, he's a pretty nice guy, so I get I get a chance to, to kind of step out of that and, and be this villain. You know, and, and that, that's a lot of fun. But believe me, believe me that I am, that every ounce of me, that every hair on my body is Raul Menendez. I, I live and breathe this man. It's, I've invested a lot into this man. And, and, and I hope, I hope um, that the players will enjoy the ride. That won't, because um, I, I mean, I hope and pray that that they don't feel the pain that I've felt, but that they empathize with it. You know, he's a multi-dimensional character. Um, you know, who I I've worked really, really hard on making sure that he's um, someone that we can all empathize with. You don't necessarily agree with everything he does, but you sure, as a human being, I, I, I don't know how you couldn't understand where it comes from. So that's how I approach my performance. I gotta take in and imagine what it would be like to feel all these things, and then each one of these things affects how I respond to, let's say, uh, Sergeant James Woods. How I respond to Mason. How I respond to, you know, the CIA or the Americans or the Chinese. Because they affected my life. They affected my life. And these are huge, huge moments that, that, that are life-altering moments. You know, they're not just, hey, psh, brush them off, somebody cut me off on the freeway. No. These are huge moments, so I need to take the, 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 the immensity of those moments. And those, those are the moments that come out in my, hopefully, hopefully, come out in my performance. Going back to the whole imagination thing, unlike in, in any other medium, um, you know, you're not dressed the part. You know, uh, you're not on a set that looks the part. You know, you have to imagine everything. When you're doing this mocap stuff, you have to imagine the fire. You have to imagine the planes flying overhead. You have to imagine, you know, you know, firing a, a rocket launcher. You know, you, got, you have to imagine, you know, a, a, a grave site or a dead body in your arms. Or, you have to imagine that kind of stuff. And uh, plus, you're wearing this, you know, leotard basically with a bunch of dots all over your body. It, it's not, you know, the most attractive thing in the world. I mean, you know. Um, but, um, yeah, no, it was, it was, uh, it was interesting. It was interesting. So I've, I've done some, you know, some of the most amazing work. I've done some of the most, uh, ama uh, uh, the chance to do some of the most amazing work I've had. And it's a, really a testament to this team, you know, the Call of Duty team, because without the writing and the animators and, and all, all the, the, the dedication that goes in, I, I mean, I, I don't even know, to be honest. I mean, there's gotta be thousands of people who work on this, on this game. It's, it, I'm just a, one very small, minuscule part of, of what goes on here. But, I, gosh, I, I, I hope I, uh, I'm conveying um, what the players want to see and feel. If the player's sitting behind his console, right, and he's trying to I imagine what is going to happen next, right, I, I've got to create something as big as his imagination or bigger because that's what's going to make the game a lot of fun to play. Aside from all the other wonderful stuff that's going on. Yeah, I've seen little bits and pieces of it. Little bits and pieces. It's, it's amazing. I just, it's, it's amazing what, what these guys are able to, to do and create. And I, I, I'm just, 
astonished. And it's, it's just been awesome. Awesome. Wait till you see the game. I've never been more excited for the release, you know, Black Ops 2 on November 13th. It's going to be like, it's going to be the biggest event in the world. I mean, we're, we're not talking about just, you know, here in, in, in the United States. In the world. Let me stress that. It's the biggest event in the world. Turn around. Do it both again. You've got five seconds to decide. Put them on. Turn around. You know, this is, this is, it's, it's, you know, this line that I say to him. Yeah. He's probably the only guy that would understand this in the yes. whole thing. Yes. Right, in the whole game. Yes. Disappear!